Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Do you know God will make time slow down for you? The clock looks like it keeps on ticking. But God knows how to do some finagling with your schedule. Now, here's an example. And God will tell you how to pray so that you know how to cover yourself through the almighty workings of God. I was, I had this dream that I was doing someone's hair. And while I was doing their hair, I looked out the window and I saw a lady coming across the street. One of my customers with a, uh, a bag of hair in their hand. And I'm looking at them and I'm looking at my customer and I'm looking at the clock. And I said, oh no. Oh no, what did I do? Did I double schedule? What did I do? Oh no, I'm nowhere near. I'm still trying to finish with this lady. I'm not even ready for her yet. And then while she's coming up the walkway, another car pulls up and it's another one of my customers. And she's coming in to get a full weave as well. And I'm looking at her saying, oh God, I'm in the panic button. No! I woke up. <laughs> oh, I tell you, God is good. He prepared me for my career with that one dream. From that point on, I prayed like this. God, number one, thank you that that was a dream. But listen, that was a suggestion, and I'm going to take, take you up on it. If I ever double book and forget to write one down by mistake, would you fix the day, fix their day, so that the second customer will always have something hold them up and they will call me to ask if they can be late and then I'll adjust their schedule and act like it's okay. And let them come at a later time, even though I'm the one that made the mistake. Without them knowing it. You know how scatterbrained I am. Cover me on that end, please. That is a weak side on me. Even with an appointment book, I still mess up. And I ask you to fix it every time. If I forget that I have an appointment, make the person call me and say, can I be another a little bit late to give me time to get myself up to the shop on time? I mean, God enabled me to pray all kind of creative prayers because of the crazy dreams he would give me. And it would warn me of the possibilities. So I knew how to pray against those possible pitfalls. And I'm telling you, the craziest, I have had times where I was doing somebody's hair and somebody would call me and say, Hi Pat, listen, I really hate to do this to you, but I, I'm, I'm either going to have to cancel or reschedule. I don't know if you've got anything open later on this afternoon, but I'm really tied up at work. I can't get out early like I thought. And I'm looking up, thinking to God, You did it again! And I'm like, Oh! Okay, no problem, sweetheart. Somebody else wants to fill this spot anyway, so I'll just let them know it's okay. And she said, oh, good. Are you available later on? I said, yeah, I'll be available about one or two. Oh, thank God. That'll be perfect. I'll see you then. Okay, what time? Boom. Okay, great. Bye. See you then. Thanks for calling. <laughs> you did it. 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 I don't believe you did it. You did it. Every time. Every single time God had me coming out smelling like a rose when I was the dingbat that screwed up. He covered me every time. And he'll cover you too.